here's a good pasta dish if you like mushrooms and I'm also going to add a little bit of asparagus to this. It's not guilt free. We are going to use cream in here. Now I'm only going to make one serving so I'm getting uh, the fettuccine and the little shervil. I'll get my pasta water going. I salted it generously. I want to go ahead and get that to a boil and this really comes together in just about the time it takes to boil that pasta so not real complicated to make so I'm just going to cook my shallots down in a half a tablespoon of butter with a little bit of salt I'm on about medium low heat here I did feel like it was getting a little bit too hot so I went ahead and removed it from the heat and reduced my eye to low now my water is boiling I'll go ahead and add my noodles and I'll just kind of push those down around the rim they'll form a little circle until it comes up to a boil again and then I can kind of just check on them periodically and make sure that they don't stick together Together while I'm making my sauce okay so now I'll go ahead and add my garlic I have this on low heat at this point and now I'll add my mushrooms the mushrooms these are just some portobello mushroom caps I really like this with this dish here and I forgot to add my other tablespoon of butter so I went ahead and added that in and we'll go ahead and get these cooking I want to melt this butter and then I'm going to cover this so that it doesn't dry out after a couple of minutes, I'll check on them and just keep them at an even single layer, okay? They're cooking pretty good now. This has been about four minutes, and so I'm going to add my asparagus tips with a little bit more of the pasta water. After a couple more minutes, I'll go ahead and add my vinegar and leave it uncovered at this point so that vinegar can reduce a little bit. And now I'll remove it from the heat and we can go ahead and add our guilty pleasure, the cream. Okay, I'll combine that a little bit here and then add my fresh shervil. I'm going to add about half of it here. And I went ahead and drained my fettuccine. I didn't rinse it. And now I'm going to add it to my sauce and then just combine it well. And now it is time to eat. This is a dish I used to eat a lot at one restaurant I would frequent all the time. And I haven't had this in years, so I thought I'm going to make it. So here it is. I'm just topping it with a little bit of hard cheese, some more fresh chervil. And there you have it. So I hope you can give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a beautiful day.